This week's parasha, Nitzavim, means one standing, where you stand. Every one of us is to stand before God. We stand before God to enter into the covenant as we agree to be his people and follow his righteous ways. Regarding how to so rightly live, this parsha especially emphasizes that we have seen the detestable things in the fetishes of wood, stone, silver, and gold that other nations keep. Vatiru et shikutsehem viet gilulehem et even kesef v'zahav. Recognized here is the risk of any of us to succumb to such concerning ill worship. Worry of a stock sprouting poison weed and wormwood. Shoresh pore rosh ana. Such false worship is, first in this parsha, said to be unforgivable. While such false worship is said to be so horribly unforgivable, if we do return to the Lord, God will restore us and have mercy upon us. Heed the Lord and obey all his commandments. With all your heart and with all your soul. This is not out of reach. Such goodness is attainable. For this is very close to you in your mouth and in your heart. And you can do it. Love the Lord your God. Walk in his ways. Keep his commandments, his laws, and his rules. Do not be lured into the worship and service of other gods. I call heaven and earth to witness against you this day. I have put before you life and death, blessing and curse. Choose life. Ha'idoti v'achem hayom et ha'shamayim v'et ha'aretz ha'chayim v'hamavet natati l'fanecha ha'bracha v'haklala u'v'acharta v'chayim. We each do have the power to choose life, to choose a life of what is right, to choose a life of good. Where though do we stand? Where do we allow ourselves to stand? Do we stand with what is right or do we allow ourselves to stand with what is false? Do we worship false idols, false gods? Do we poorly prioritize and poorly value? With this parsha and always, each of us should be seriously assessing where we stand and be prepared to stand more upright with what is right and godly and good.